Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Speaking of speakers, and we really weren't, that was just a segue to bring us to this point of where we're going to talk about apparently two different types of speakers that are out there. There's two different types, electrostatic and driver. The driver are your kind of traditional speakers. Versus where... the one where you have to like do that and then it plays sound. Mm -hmm. The electrostatic ones. So the electrostatic ones work off a very similar principle to the driver speakers. Drivers work because they have a very big magnet. You push electricity through it and it goes and it moves the membrane. And But the problem with that is you got to make sure you have the right drivers for it. The dri <laughs> It's an old Windows joke. Sorry. Anyway. So with an electrostatic, you don't use a magnet. What you do is you use opposing currents and a very thin membrane. The advantage of this is that because you don't have to move the magnet back and forth, you have less weight, so you can get more accurate sound. Because Less weight means more accurate sound? Less weight means that the highs, you can hit higher frequencies, and you don't have to fight the inertia of the magnets. So they're better? They're better for mids and highs, with some caveats. Um, you get truer sound, uh, you don't get as much volume generally, you can get more volume because you can just make more speakers or bigger speakers or whatever, but you also don't drive them off of the traditional amplifier because they require a lot of voltage in order to make it work. So you plug them into the electrical outlet and then you take line level and it amplifies the stuff in order to create the, the sound waves. That's with the electrostatic? With the electrostatic. Okay. The other, the disadvantage, the biggest disadvantage to electrostatic is they can't do thump, thump, thump type sounds because they're a very thin membrane and they just don't hold up for it and they don't allow for large amounts of motion. You know, with a subwoofer, you know, you've seen them move, you know, a yeah. good half inch each direction when they thump. And with the electrostatic, the speakers move, you know, fractions of an inch. Okay, so... Okay, so when would you want to use then the the traditional? I guess I I only I I guess I've only seen that I know of the the ones that have uh, the the magnets. Have, have you seen the very thin desktop speakers? Well, were, I guess so. I just figured they all had the yeah, same so, base. So there's electrostatic that, and they're a very thin panel. And the advantage of them is that in a home theater setup, they can be part of the wall mm -hmm. quite literally. And you just put this flat spot on the wall, and it's a speaker. Um, they take up, you know, almost no space. They deliver very accurate sound, but they require a power source, whereas the regular speaker just drives off of the amplifier. Hmm. So, they're just a thing, not better or worse, just a Difference. thing. Yeah. Yep. 